Good day, guys. Good day, good day, good day. I hope you're doing great. Uh, it's weekend, by the way. It's Sunday, so I hope everyone is doing great. So let's prepare for this week, for upcoming week, uh, actually starting from tomorrow. So weekends like this, guys, is those days where you're supposed to uh, prepare yourself. You know you have some issues. That is time, actually, to identify those issues and try to tackle those issues, you see. Because if you don't do that, especially weekends like this, when you go back on Monday, you're still going to have the same issues, you see. So I hope maybe it's, it's a great time to learn. But, but uh, I have something good for you. Uh, we have a very nice special for you, actually. It's a yearly mentorship and a VIP signals. It's $100. Uh, the special is going to last up so month end. Uh, then we're going to go back to our normal pricing. So yeah, if you want to, uh, if you want to talk to me, there is my WhatsApp. You can just Telegram me or WhatsApp me. PayPal and Skrill. You can see that it's my email there. So yeah, if you want to be part of the team and maybe you wanted me to take the price a bit lower, now you understand. Uh, now you get it. Uh, I just gave you something there. Uh, actually, guys, uh, I'm just doing this for people who are following me because yes, yeah, some of them they can afford maybe two hundred dollars, uh, which means. Uh, I have to lower my pricing, but it's not like maybe the value is going to go down by the way The value is still the same. The value is still very the same and yeah, we're going to enjoy you're going to enjoy then because we're going to have um, a Classes like Monday uh, between Monday and Friday three three times a day. Uh, sorry Monday to Friday and you can choose three days, one hour per session, one hour per session. I'm talking about Zoom, one-on-one -on -one Zoom session, or maybe Microsoft Team or Google Meet, something like that. So I hope maybe you're going to uh, try and test that if maybe. And it comes with all with the signals. It comes with signals. 12 months is too much. 12 months is too much. So without wasting your time, without wasting your time, we are on bitcoin so since we are on a weekly analysis guys because this is an uh, a weekly analysis what do we see we see that actually on bitcoin this thing is still trying to go lower we saw other indices trying to recover but bitcoin did not uh, but what we see is the market is still respecting this downtrend and there's nothing that we can do there's nothing we can do we can see that this thing is still respecting that trend so what i'm expecting is since the market is selling there i'm expecting maybe the market will reach this area maybe before pushing to the upside and again even if it pushes to the upside around this area we don't have to forget that that area is a resistant and the market might respect that and push the lower side or maybe the market will just then break that. I hope you see that and I hope you understand that, you see. So I'm hoping maybe the market will be respecting our, our downtrend. We're going to say something if the market breaks here, then after maybe the market will push around and reach that area. Simple as that. We don't really have to confuse ourselves. So let's push to the next one. The next one is actually German 40. Uh, German 40, German 40. Let's try to do something like this. Uh, because this is weekly, let's just try to adjust our resistance. So what do we see on German 40? It's quite simple, it's quite straightforward. Uh, we see that the market is still, the market is still lined nicely on a downtrend. The market is still on a downtrend, guys. So we're not going to act unless the market is going to break that resistance. And we can say, okay, now it's time for the market to do what? To push the upside. So let me try to throw something like that. I thought maybe I saw something. Note, it's not necessary. It's quite similar to here. The market will create a very nice move. A very nice move. And that is actually a short bullish move because after that, the market will be going down. So what I see is I see that the market is still playing very close to our resistance. We waiting if just because we see that the market is just pushing up, we just waiting for the market to break those areas and see if maybe it's going to push the upside. We will be ready with that uh, buy pending order. If it wants to go down again, we'll be ready for a sell. But on Friday, guys, we smashed the market nicely and the market just uh, kept going lower and lower. But later on, I saw the market was recovering. But by the way, by the way, I wasn't feeling good. But now 
yeah, now I can say I'm great. I'm very good. So Monday, we're going to kick it. Monday, we're going to kick it. And we're going to go live, by the way. Uh, for those who don't know, we go live every day. Monday to Friday, we go live before NASDAQ open. Or you can just say New York uh, open. You see? Simple as that. So let's push to the next one. Let's push to the next one. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to smash that like and share with your friends. So we are on gold. You can see that the market has been bleeding. And uh, when we say the market has been bleeding, guys, we're trying to just say the market has been selling off. The market has been selling off. And we see that we had a nice uh, trend uh, complementing that uh, resistance. The market was just going down very nicely. Guess what? On Friday, on Friday, I think it's on Friday, on the VIP, on the VIP, when you, if maybe you are in the group, obviously you, you received this resistance, I mean, sorry, this signal. So what happened actually here, we had a very nice uh, downtrend, then we had a breakout retest, now the market is shooting to the moon. So already, already we were in the profit, so, but obviously i don't think everyone closed that maybe they're still holding uh, i'm expecting the market to push the upside but regard uh, beside that we are still in profit remember this is a four hours time frame right but what did we see the market was going down nicely and we had identified that with a, a resistant line or a downtrend line then after the market reached that area broke out then we waited for a retest and we had this buy pending order when the market pushed uh, pushed up uh, it found our order there and we uh, if it push going it keeps pushing up obviously we will be making profit so what's really happening is the market yes is trying to change the trend the trend was just going down now we expecting the market to do what to change that trend to push sorry to push to the upside maybe the market will keep doing something like that because when the market breaks this resistance most likely is the market is changing the trend and the trend it means it's changing from the downtrend or the up to the uptrend simple as that so let's push the next one i'm very fast guys because obviously it's sunday you just want to spend your time maybe with your family and stuff like that so let me remove this it's no longer necessary so what do we see on 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 us oil uh, this is four hours time frame by the way we can easily see that you know what the market is on on an uptrend you see that but the market is just rejecting all along along the way so what are we going to do is we're going to just specify or identify this area you see we're going to identify that area as a resistant if the market is going to keep pushing above that area once it breaks that we're going to do what we go into buy so let's identify that area because the market is still on that and uptrend you see so i'm expecting the market to do what maybe to respect this area go down or maybe to break this area and i can say the market is gonna push up so here we just waiting for a structure nicely we can see that the market is pushing to the upside but we don't really have a very nice structure we don't really have a nice structure so we have to do what wait for a structure to happen before we say we just going to jump on it so but what i'm expecting i'm expecting the market to create something like this if the market wants to continue with that bullish move so, so if maybe we see a breakout it's gonna be easy for us to keep doing what to keep buying because this is an uptrend the trend is going to the upside so we can also have something like that around the along something like this and see if maybe the market will try and come around that area we can try and see if maybe the market will be doing something like this but we will see that during the week currently i don't think maybe we will see that let's just wait for the market to do its thing guys let's wait for the market to do its thing because if you give the market a time uh, to move then most likely the market will benefit you. I mean, it will reward you because it means you, you're not just jumping on the market. So we are on US state, guys. US state. What did what happened actually? We smashed this one. No, I think we did not take. We took. We took Nasdaq, by the way. So what's really happening is. Uh, you can see that we had an area as a support area around this area, which the market just broke very nicely. And on top here, we, as you know, let me try to make this. Yeah. 
let me try to make it like that you can easily see that actually the market is still on a very nice downtrend so around this area we had something you see we have to take this resistance to there because actually the market gave us a clue there and the market sold when it reached this area do you see that so let me try to zoom that nicely hey we made this a lot of money on friday guys so what happened here is we see that the market respected this area firstly came back broke that but the market after retested that to show us that that area is something then we saw the market pushing down and going up again respecting that area around the market open we saw this crazy sell-off but you know what mostly when the market creates this type of sell-offs expect the market to recover and we saw that uh, the market just recovered aggressively but guess what i was not even on the market i just saw this later actually but i did not care much because i wasn't on the market you see so actually what can we say now we can say okay okay now we have an area that we can call uh, we can call a resistant you see the market was pushing down remember we are still on a downtrend don't confuse yourself and say oh the market is pushing up maybe the market is is on a bullish momentum nope the market is still on a downtrend yes we saw this rejection but that rejection maybe maybe the market is wants to reject reach this area and push the lower side that is also possible but for us to be like way too clear we just have to wait for the structure the market might push up we don't know the market might go down start to do something like that yes something that is going to lead us to whatever that we're going to take or the decision that we're going to take it's because of the structure so we don't do anything beside the structure so currently we think maybe the market will respect this area if not maybe we'll see the market pushing up and maybe respecting this resistant area before pushing lower there is a possibility i think maybe the market obviously currently the market just reached the lowest areas that we ever seen actually this year uh, even though the market was going up but let me just check maybe when did we reach this area actually oh, you will see that this is crazy we are like down 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 up to this area we reached this area uh 2020 sorry 2021 march this is a full year do you see that the market is just been there the market was around this area last year march since that area april never saw that area the market was just going above that area so it means yes we are on a market crash this is a crash by the way so if maybe they don't talk about it yes we are on a market crash where will the market respect and start to push up uh, we don't really know much uh, we don't really know much about that what are we going to do and to be always on the safe side is to follow the structure currently the market is still on this bearish moves you can see this bullish move is not uh, maybe something new along the way we had those type of bullish moves we had them we had so this one is, it shouldn't be something new so don't get confused and say oh maybe the market is no nope, relax wait for the structure to be broken before you say okay now we look for what for bullish move relax and check that i know you're going to thank me later uh, so let's move straight to nasdaq so but before we continue on nasdaq guys let me show you the special that we have i already showed you on the first one but i know people maybe they just skip straight to nasdaq currently we have like uh special until month and this special is, the, is just the same one as um it's vip signals plus mentorship it's yearly it's not like uh i no longer do lifetimes i no longer do lifetimes i don't want to stack with people forever so it means it's it's yearly uh, or let's just say 12 months a uh, mentorship hundred dollars and then you can join you get signals you also get assistant and you also get the training if you want the training you see simple as that but if maybe you want monthly if you want monthly uh, let me just show you that if you want monthly is that is 45 dollars that did not change and the normal price is actually 200 dollars that's why i'm saying we have been a special until month end then after we're going back to our normal pricing let me know there those are my whatsapp and there is paypal you can just pay then you can let me know later on thank you and uh, so let's go straight to uh, to nasdaq so what's really happening on nasdaq 
Oh, fortunately, we still have the cell painting orders. Uh, let me remove this. Sorry. Let me remove those things. Uh, because we did eat very nicely. You can see, let me just remove this also. So before I, I zoom nicely, uh, what do we see? It's quite clear. This thing is uh, like, you can see the market is just going down. The market is just going down, which means we are on a downtrend. On a, on a downtrend, it means we only look for what? For sell positions. Why? Because sell positions, they are mostly like 90% of the time the market will be doing that. The market will be on a, on a sell for 90% of the time, you see. So if we zoom closer, you can easily see that, you know what? Yes, the market was still on that downtrend, but on Friday, and unfortunately on Friday, if you still remember, I think on Thursday we did not take any trade. Why? Because the market was not giving us, or maybe the structure was not really good, you see. So what do we, did we see here? We, we had something like this. The market had a support around this area. Do you see that? So what happened was the market actually created this area a few days respected that again broke this area came back respected that area again broke that area guess what we got it on friday the market was still here and i sent the 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 pending order here that was a sell pending order around this level let me zoom that so that you can see that we seriously did it you can see that uh, our sell pending order was here you can see the market went lower than that, you see. Even though we see some sort of a recovery, but even take profit was smashed uh, for those who did hold longer. So, but what do we see? We see that the market is trying to recover. Will this thing last in this recovery? Yes, we're not really sure. Uh, we not. Let me just remove that. We are not really sure. Let me even remove this one because it's useless. So, what's really happening is we still have an area that we can call a major a major resistance or a major area where we think the market might come and bounce back. So around this area, we have something like that. So I'm expecting the market maybe to respect this area or to break and respect the upper or the highest or the, or the, uh, the outer resistance. You see, the market might come there and respect that area and push the lower side. So if that doesn't happen, guess what? It's Monday tomorrow or now it's weekend. We're just waiting for the market to, to react or and give us the structure. Remember, we are still on a downtrend. Why? Because the market is still respecting that. Unless or until the market break that area, it's where we can say now maybe we go in on a uptrend or a bullish move. But currently, things are still very, very bad, guys. Uh, before we see any recovery, it might still be worse. It might still be like worse than whatever that we've seen before. Because if I go back, let me just show you something. Uh, we don't just talk. Let me show you when was the last time the market reached that area. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. The market touched that area actually. Let's say here. Uh, it's, whoa, 10th of November 2020. 2021, the market never reached that area. It's crazy. Seriously crazy. So you can easily see that the market was seriously selling. If maybe we have like, so let's just say it's like, it's a year and what? It's 2020 uh, and now it's tw and 2021. Now it's 2022. So you can see that the whole of 2021 was covered with that. So 2021 never touched that area because the market was like on seriously bullish move. So there is a chance now we are on on what's really happening we are on uh actually very very close to where we were at uh, the time before the the coronavirus uh, outbreak but me i don't think maybe we can reach there but my my final maybe uh, lowest point that I can say maybe the market can reach. If you still remember, last week I said the market might reach 11,000. I think the market reached there, but I think maybe the market can still reach around this area before maybe we see maybe the market pushing up. But the market won't just push up. We can still see some bad stuff before we see the market uh, trying to push. But remember, we are still on bearish move until we see the market breaks that. But if the market is not going to break that area, nope, we still bearish remember remember if you want to be part of the winning team 
if you want to be part of the winning team you know what to do you know what to do uh, you have to join it's hundred dollars it's special until month end then it's 12 months actually it's 12 months vip signals 12 months uh, mentorship where i'm just going to be on your side to make sure that you make it in this market i'm feeling good guys i'm feeling very great so monday is gonna be nice and our winning streaks just continues we had a very nice since since we just go and check our previous streamed videos you will see that every time when we take the trade most likely 90 percent of the time we were always making money we were always making money non-stop non-stop so yeah uh for those who want to join me uh there is a special it's hundred dollars you can just join me remember monthly is still 45 dollars by the way because this is special then i it's like 50 percent off by the way so thank you very much this is kenzo extra hot forex i hope to see you tomorrow on our live session thank you very much thank you for watching don't forget to smash the like don't forget to to subscribe share this video with your friends so that uh, the channel can grow and by the way thanks to everyone who already subscribed guys you made this channel very very uh, to grow very quickly thank you very much this is kenzo extra hot 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 forex bow